No way, no way. I value my hide. Please. No. Please, please, just one little try. <laughs> and who can refuse you anything? The cinema of Roman Polanski is entirely built on the horror of invasion. He loves staging lawful and unlawful entries into the home of a stranger. Could we come in? Uh, of course, please do. There you are. Go ahead. Look, we got up there. There's a light. Polanski favours compositions that enhance the lack of privacy in small, claustrophobic spaces. The staging in depth with multiple planes of action in focus emphasises the presence of a third party who disrupts the given set relation of a couple. You both better help me if you want to stay healthy. Hello? Don't panic, no hysterics. Invasion is a complex system in Polanski's cinema. It has not only multiple guises, but also multiple disguises. The processes of invasion are intricate, its forces are devastating, and its roles are constantly interchangeable. <laughs> Often Polanski's films begin with the protagonists moving into a new house that previously belonged to another. So, this is where you put the granny? No. This is where we put Mike McCarr. The previous tenant, Mrs. Gardenia, passed away just a few days ago, so nothing has been moved yet. Her son asked me to say that some of the furniture could be picked up practically for the asking. Did she die in the apartment? The previous tenant threw herself out of the window. <laughs> we haven't had a chance to clear it yet. The sheets have been changed, though. 
The characters, however, never manage to make this space entirely their own, since they are haunted by the traces of their predecessors. Personal items left behind by the other person take hold of the protagonists, both fascinating them and repelling them. The stories, memories and images of the past function as signals that lure and capture the central characters. I hope you'll find my story interesting. I realize it's hard to relate to something that doesn't concern you. Maybe it already does. the partition. Intimacy begins to be threatened by subtle disturbances that soon escalate into the unavoidable presence of nosy neighbours. Is here. Would you would you like to meet him? Well, if I won't be intruding. Uh... No, no, please come in. Oh, dear lady, please forgive this intrusion. Private life is constantly harassed and trespassed. <gasps> It's just me. I bought you some dry clothes. Well, that's all right. I can manage. Dinner's in an hour, OK? Fine, thanks. Dr Hill prescribed vitamin pills. No pills. Minnie Castavet has a herbarium. I'm going to have her make a daily drink for you that'll be fresher, safer and more vitamin-rich than any pills on the market. The characters begin to be handled, forced to conform to rituals imposed on them. For me? Just a little present is all. For moving in. Their everyday habits are altered through seemingly innocent gestures and gifts. Put it on. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get used to the smell before you know her. Yeah, go on. Oh, yeah. You rented the apartment of that girl that jumped out of the window, huh? Yes, uh, did you know her? Sure I did. Came in every morning. Always sat in the same place. Right there where you are now. A cup of chocolate and a roll and butter. Never drank coffee. She used to say, if I have a coffee, I can't sleep for two days. It's a question of what you used to. Shall I make you a chocolate? Has an undertaste. A chalky undertaste. I don't get it. That's silly, honey. There is no undertaste. I don't like it. It's delicious. Here, you can have mine. <laughs> I don't eat it. There's always something wrong. Oh, if it's going to turn into a big thing. Look, if you really can't stand it, just don't eat it. Mm, it's delicious. Do you sell cigarettes? Yes. What would you like? Goulois Bleu, please. Oh, I'm right out of Goulois. Oh, what else do you have? Gitana Marlborough. 
Mademoiselle Shula always smoke Marlboro. Would you like a pack? What's wrong with you? Do I look that bad? Terrible. This invasion is an act of gradual but total destruction, a possession that menaces the integrity of the self. Bodies and minds start experiencing changes. They behave strangely. Fevers, phobias, pains, dissociative fugues make their appearance. Identity becomes fragile. For men, violation opens up a questioning of their masculinity, while for women, it raises the nightmare of rape. Why are you taking them off? To make you more comfortable. As the self disintegrates, spaces also lose their real contours. They become porous and metamorphic. Mix up with the bags. Mix up with the bags. Mm. <laughs> and the other, the severe judging look of everyday normal society. 
becomes a totally abnormal monster. It's him again! Expressing itself in public gossip, innuendo and disapproval. I knew there was something wrong with him the first time I saw him. 